Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter of CSS, we are going to look at CSS text property. Well, CSS provides a lot of text properties that will help us to decorate or transform your text code into your link. And these are the properties that we are going to look in this video chapter. So first is text align. This property will help us to align the text at the left, right, center and justify. Then is text decoration. This will allow us to add a line above the text, between the text and below the text. That is the underline. So you can put the text as a striking text or a underlined text which will emphasize its importance. Then we can give the indentation to a paragraph using the text indent property. Then there is a text transform property which will transform the case of the given text within the element to lowercase, uppercase or capitalized. Capitalized means the first character within that word is capitalized or in a uppercase. Then is letter spacing property. So this property will help us to justify or provide the space between the letters of a word. Then is word spacing property. This will help us to add space between the words. Then is line height property. So if you want so if you want to have space between letters, we have letter spacing. If you want to have space between words, we have word spacing. Similar way, the line height property will create the space between the lines within the paragraph or within the HTML element. Then there is a direction property. So this property is very useful for displaying the text which is written left to right or right to left. That is the Arabic text or the Urdu text is written right to left whereas the English or Hindi or Marathi other texts are written in left to right. Then there is a text shadow property. So this property is useful to add shadow to our given text. Now we will see these examples one by one. Here is an example that I have prepared and in this example we are going to see all the text properties that is the nine properties that we have discussed in the PPT. Now here is the first example how I have returned the code. So I have returned first the title which property we are going to discuss then the property itself in a h2 tag with the one proper one value then i have created a paragraph and used the style attribute and set the text align pro property to left now similar way i have used text align to center then similar way text align to right so i have set different properties within the style attribute of a paragraph element. Now let's go and see these examples and see how the text properties are used. So I'm going to put the shortcut here. Control Shift B will give me the list of browsers that are available and which one I want to use. So I'm going to use the Chrome browser. So I'm going to open it in the Chrome browser. Now, so this is how the example that I have prepared looks like. Now here I have set the property text align to left, which is the by default property, which is the default property of the text. So my text, the lorem ipsum text, is displayed on the left side. Then is the text align center. So this will display the text at the center of your HTML. Then is the text align right. So in this case, the text is displayed in the right corner of your HTML window. Then is the decoration property. This decoration property will help us to put a line above, in between and below the text. First is text decoration is overline. Overline means this way. So the line is displayed above the text. Then is line through. So the text, so the line is displayed in between the text. So we can, or we can say it is a strike through text. Then is the underline so the text decoration property set to underline this will help us to emphasize the text 
using the value as underline and by default its value is none so no line above below or in between then is the text indent property now here is the example where i have set text indent to 50 px so you can see the paragraph it is properly indented and here is another example that i have created where i have not set the text indent property so you can see the paragraph is not indented so this is how you can use the text indent property then is text transform property so the text transform property will transform the case of the text into lower upper or capitalized so first example is of lower case given so the given text is transformed into the lower text then is upper case in which my given text is transformed into the upper case and the third is capital s so text dash transform colon capital s it will transform the text into capitalized case so you can see each character in each word of this sample text is capitalized so capitalized text will help you to capitalize the first character within the word of a given text then is letter spacing now here i have used letter dash spacing equal to 10 px now you can see there is a space between the characters of a word now here is another example where i have not used the letter spacing and here is the example where i have used the letter spacing and you can see the difference between the both examples is that when i am applying this letter spacing property there is a space between the characters of the word and when i am not applying that property the words are displayed as normal text and there is no space in between them then there is a word spacing property so the word spacing property here i have applied the word spacing property to 10 px you can see there is a additional space in between the words of a given sentence but here is another example where i have not applied the word spacing property and hence there is no additional space between the words of the given sentence so you can use the word spacing property to add more spacing between the words then there is a line height property now this is the example where i have applied the line height property i have set it to 4 so it will add four lines of space between the two lines of a paragraph so here is another example where i have not applied the line height property now you can see the difference there are four empty lines between the two lines of the paragraph and in this example the spacing is normal then there is a direction property the direction property will help us to set the direction of the text and it has two value rtl so this will help us to set the text from right to left and the another value is ldr which is normal way of writing left to right so by default the value is ldr that is left to right and if you want to set the direction right to left you can use rtl property then there is a text shadow property now text shadow property will help us to add shadow to our text here is sample text that i have created and you can see a small shadow is present behind the text now the text shadow property has four parameters horizontal shadow vertical shadow blur radius and color the first example that i have used in this example i have set the horizontal shadow to 2px then vertical shadow to 2px and color is red now in this one i have not set the blur radius so you can see this is how you can add shadow to your text text shadow property then there is a second example in which i have added the blur radius to 10px now all the other parameters are same with the previous example 2px horizontal shadow 2px vertical shadow and color red but i have added 10px of blur radius now you can see the difference between the first example and the second example first example is solid and the shadow is very small and in the second example the shadow is blurred out so these are the nine text properties that we have studied in this video i hope you have understood it 
Let me know if you have concern in the comment section and thank you.